Class Test 2, Question 7. Plot the two complex numbers on an Argan diagram. An Argan diagram is a diagram that shows the real part and the imaginary part of a complex number. So, Z1 is 3 plus 4J. So there's our Argan diagram. This is the real axis. This is the imaginary axis. So we go 1, 2, 3 in the real direction. 1, 2, 3, 4 in the imaginary direction and our complex number can be represented by that line. Now, we've described it as 3 in the real and 4 in the imaginary direction but we could also describe it as a, the modulus, which is the length of that line and the argument between the line and the real axis there. So. If we did that, we'd have it as z1 is equal to r cos theta plus j sine theta. r is given by Pythagoras, which is that squared plus that squared. 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 16 plus 9 is 25, and the square root of 25 is 5. So the modulus is 5. Now we'll look at the angle, which is here. It's given by the arctangent of 4 over 3 which, if you have a quick bash on your calculator, you'll find is 53.13 degrees. So Z1 can be represented as modulus of 5 and an argument of 53.13. OK, now let's look at Z2. We'll start by drawing it on the Argan diagram. So we go 1, 2 in the real direction, minus 1, minus 2 in the imaginary direction. So the complex number can be represented by the line we've got here. The uh, modulus is given by the square root of 2 squared plus 2 squared. 2 squared is 4 and another 4 is 8 so the modulus is the square root of 8 and I think we'll leave it like that. The argument is the arctangent of minus 2 over 2 which is actually one of the standard triangles that we know. So we can write Z2 as the modulus, which is root 8, and the argument, which is minus pi over 4.